Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Claudia and I'm doing like a summary of my Victoria Falls trip. In this video, I will cover accommodation, how to get to Victoria Falls, places to visit on a budget and uh, even like non-budget friendly places, transportation, how you move around in Victoria Falls and just general tips here and there. Victoria Falls is a town in western Zimbabwe and a gateway to the massive waterfall Mos Oyatunya, meaning the smoke that thunders. Victoria Falls is known as one of the greatest natural wonders of the world due to being the largest sheet of falling water in the world. The enormous waterfall spans more than 1,600 meters wide and plummets over 100 meters over a cliff continues down into the Zambezi River below. So for accommodation, I would advise you to book before you get to Victoria Falls. It is very, very important to know where exactly you're going. I will leave a link to some websites that can help you save a little bit of your money when you go there. You can stay at an Airbnb, backpackers, at a lodge, or like a five-star hotel, boutique hotel, any way that your budget allows. This is the beautiful Mbano. Get the pool area. It's so, so good. Whatever you do, book where there is a pool because Victoria Falls can get really hot unless you go there winter time. And also research like the season because the water changes throughout the season so you yeah, keep that in mind now that you're ready accommodation booked bags pegged you now want to know how you get to victoria falls so you can book a bus but at your own risk because it is not the most pleasurable experience or you can fly there the one i would recommend for you is to drive your own car or a friend's car or drive as a group because it gives you flexibility it's moving around from place to place you have your own vehicle if you don't have a vehicle you can walk around victoria falls is a small town or you can rent a car or use a cab whoever is hosting you like at your accommodation is more likely to help you with that information if you decide to walk, just keep a look out for those guys. So now we're talking about food. Food where you eat will be different from the person who's staying at a backpackers, at a self-catering or Airbnb or a five-star hotel. Some will provide bed and breakfast for you and some will not. And you have to go and look for food all on your own. It is very, very important to look at TripAdvisor, like the restaurants, and look at the reviews, what people are saying about the restaurant and the food and the service before you even go. So just in case I go back to Victoria Falls, would you guys be interested in uh, what to eat in 24 hours in Victoria Falls? So comment down below and let me know if you're interested in that, and I will do my due diligence and research before I go. Then chicken curry. Then Then So many activities you can do in Victoria Falls, but do not, I repeat, do not miss going to the Victoria Falls rainforest. It is beautiful. If I was asked to describe the place, I'd say magical. The sound of the water is just amazing. It's just healing. Nature at its best. So don't miss to go there. 
we have a lot of activities that you can do but obviously do your research so if planned well your activities can end up being the highlight of your trip. So close to the Victoria Falls Rainforest, you have the bridge that connects Zimbabwe and Zambia. It is free to go there. That's where you do bungee jumping. There's people that will approach you when you get there and they have their raids and everything and the views are so good. And you can also do gorge swing. Oh my god, you guys I'll link the video up here so that you can go and watch it if you haven't. I know the Lookout Cafe is not an activity but I just had to include it because the view of this gorge will just blow your mind. It's just beautiful and you won't regret going there. The food is also amazing so please check them out. So I'm at Tammy Walker Fine Art Photography Art Gallery. The pictures are amazing. Let me show you around. And then we have the Elephant's Walk shops or shopping center where you will find a lot of artists. This is where you get your curios. It's so beautiful and it's free to go there. I love Unlovu. I'm going Instagram. Ban. Opet. 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 This is spectacular work. Oh my god. So this is the the Tonga people section. Things like artifacts. The Tonga door. Wow. This, this is, a, this is a, a specific Tonga design. Yeah. Mm. Because I remember Ukula Mayabas is in Jesu. Yeah, we had 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men do. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. The Tonga Mbira. This is so small. Isn't the Mbira big? Ingum. Funeral drums. Oh. Have a shalema dancing. They are Shona headdress. The Shona people. Come on, girl. Musical instruments and some whole lot of things that the Shona people would use. This looks like in case of this. <laughs> oh, and the better people. These are my people. Oh, my kishi dance ceremony. So they would be wearing this. Hmm. Nice. Oh, so this is Shona. Not in the belly. Point of correction. And these nice baskets. The village people eat and see in the way too. I guess those are the houses. These are the Devele pots. This looks like Udio. And then this, I do not know, but it looks pretty. Ah, it's Dulo Lacey. Very nice. I, I think it's one of the maybe it's uh, oh it looks like oh, it looks like um, it's sigela but it's not that strong to see the you know no but it is whoever knows please let me know I think Lapa it's part of the kitchen mm -hmm. maybe what do you think this is go ahead King Lopengula. Ndebele milk pail. So I will sing it while I have dad. This looks like in Oingi Gongani Goto. Lokota Nangita. In. Hmm. The village clubs. In SRN, I think they believe more of the tradition. Hmm. Oh, here is the headrest and it's too low. Uh, I really think we're getting close. I really do believe in us the most. I'm not caught. The helicopter ride was one of my favorite activities to do in Victoria Falls. I thoroughly enjoyed the views. Amazing. I will link the video up here so that you can go and watch it.
So today is my last day in Big Falls, just grabbing breakfast here at Paraya State Restaurant in Big Falls, in Victoria Falls. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed the helicopter ride so, so much. I had a lovely time. I would recommend it to all of you. I would recommend that you do it as your last activity in Falls because it's like the icing on the cake. The views are breathtaking. You are going to see Victoria Falls in like the best of the best of you so thank you so much for watching do comment like and share this video if you can i love you so so much